What's up, YouTube? Ian Gary, VW Jawbreaker. Welcome back to another video today. Something interesting where my mind's been going like crazy on this 1960 Volksrod Baja Frankenbeetle build, where we've got a lot done. Things are looking good. However, I found a couple issues with this new style aftermarket tank. One being the stock tank, the tank vented from the cap. Well, this aftermarket cap, aftermarket tank is not breathed, not vented. So that means our engine would stall out. So we need to add a breather in. Second problem, I wanna know how much gas I have. So I ordered a regular aftermarket gas gauge because I found that it pairs very well with the auto meter aftermarket. Look at that, look at that. So that means Believe it or not, that works with that gauge. So all we need to do is drill a bunch of holes in our brand new tank. So I marked, this tank actually kind of comes over in the center and dips down. Uh, you can kind of see it right there. It dips down in the center, which is one of the reasons I bought this tank because it clears my little steering shaft right there with no problem. Words. <laughs> versus the tank that came with this, I would have to do some massive modifications, cut the side of the tank out, plate it, and I had rust holes, it was rusty inside. Yeah, I could have saved it, but too much work compared to a brand new tank I don't have to modify. Well, I didn't have to modify, now we have to modify it. But it's all on the top side, so it won't leak. So, all right, so here's what we got, here's what we got going on. We've got a couple fittings. These are eighth inch NPT to a 3AN, which will give me plenty of breathing room. So we're gonna put this on the side here, and then we're gonna mount this down here. That way we'll have a little 3AN 3 3 line that just loops out and down, and that'll be done. Now for the sender, remember these are kind of clocked one way where you can really only drop them in one way. So I made sure that everything was lined the way it needed to be lined. Um, kind of measured center here-ish, got center. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and drop this down. So it'll actually mount right about there. I wanted to kind of do it the other way so the wire would go that way back, but it's gonna make it really close and look weird. So I think we're gonna mount it over here like that. I think like that will be good. All right, well. Nothing left to do but to uh, get to cutting. So first things first, we gotta get a hole saw, drill that out, and we'll go ahead and drill our five mounting holes out. And I'll show you how we're gonna go about getting that all taken care of. Let's get to work. Uh, too small. No turning back now, there's a bunch of holes in the tank. All right, so as you saw, we drilled the hole, ended up being a inch and a half, and then I had to use the file to kind of open it up just a smidge, because the back side of it was kind of getting caught right here. So, should be no big deal. Um, then I used rib nuts to go ahead and make it threaded, right? Because this was not a threaded boss like normal. So now, we just need to put the gasket on, and then we go ahead and drop the bolts in, and tighten her up, and that'll be done. All right, so we'll go ahead and slip our gasket on, get her lined up, 
Now the holes are all lined up. Nope, not that way. Mm -mm. Nope, not that way. Come on. The bolts are really stiff through that rubber. They're the same size, they're M5s. Go figure. Well, there we go, that was nice and easy. Again, I kind of wish that the tang pointed back instead of this way, but uh, I can make the wires loop around or I can make them come this way then go back. I don't know, we'll figure that out when we wire the car. And uh, I'll use a shop back and clean all the metal stuff out of here when we're done, but I figured this would be easier to do it mounted here than trying to hold it. Because, <laughs> you know, that's just gonna be a joke. All right, so now we need to move on to our little breather ordeal. And again, we've got a little eighth inch NPT to 3AN, and we've got to put a hole back here somewhere. We can't go too far this way because then it ends up in the car, not underneath. So we're gonna have to go pretty close here. But I'm thinking, part of me was thinking right there. The other part of me was thinking lined up that way with the corner. I think I'll go that way. And I got plenty of room down there. And actually this lip sticks down probably about that far below the bottom of the tank to keep, I guess, fuel from sloshing up. So I'm thinking maybe we'll just go right about there. And, well, worst case scenario, whatever. Yeah, I like it, let's go for that. Pretty self-explanatory, right? I mean, you drill a hole and put a fitting in. So we've got the sender in, and we've got the line in. So this is gonna come up, move back down, right down to there, and of course, I'm waiting on my line to come in still. But right under here, you see up under there? What we'll do is there'll be a line that comes out of that. We'll probably run it over to the center. I put like a little filter or something on it just to help keep from Pulling dust and stuff in, but I use some uh, some nylon washers to help kind of seal it, and then, well, the ghetto way, a little JD weld back there. So, but all that'll work. Again, it's a nice small hole, so nothing major. You don't need a whole lot to vent the tank, but at least now we can run the tank and it's not starve itself by not being able to vent. So now I think we need to hook up some wires, temporary wires and get this fuel gauge to work so I can show you because I can actually reach my hand well you might be able to reach my hand in there I can't reach it but I might be able to with like a rod or something hold on I got an idea all right so I was able to fish a wire in and grab the float so yes yes we can we can hook up some temporary wires and get the gauge to work all right, we've got the instructions out. I've got a little battery here that I use for whatever. And let's see here. Directions say the ground's up top, 12 volts is on the one side, sender's on the other. So and we're probably gonna need to hook up a ground to our sender somehow too, just because I don't have any chassis grounds or anything hooked up yet. That might work. All right. Positive side, the battery, then goes to uh -huh, this side here. It ain't long enough. All right, the other side is the sender. So from the sender, oops, I bumped you, over to this side to the sender. Right, well, that popped off. Sender, battery pack, wires. Oh, let's go set you in the car. All right, let me go pull the thing and see if it works. 
I can't see from out here. Can it work? Does it work? Oh, the wire came off. Can you see? <laughs> Look at that. I like it when a plan comes together. All right, so the hose finally came in for the breather. This is basically a 3AN black brake line. Yeah, it's definitely overkill for a fuel vent, but let me show you why I ordered it this long and kind of how it's going to hook in. So basically, this side's going to thread on right there. This side, thread on right there. And that's our vent system that gets it out of the trunk area. So it kind of gives it a nice little up loop and back down. We can actually, probably actually do that a little different if we wanted. Hmm. Hold on, let me snug this bottom one down first. Keep it from moving. I got me an idea. Mm hmm. All right. Could take this. Not that way. Whew, I kind of like that idea. Put like a zip tie right there. Huh. Kind of like that. What do you think? I think either way it'll work. All right, so there we go. We got our fuel sender in, we got our vent set up, and then under here, again, I don't know if you can see it or not. There, there we go. Yeah, you can kind of see it. That's the gist of it right there. So guys, thanks so much for sticking around. Thanks so much for hanging out. Appreciate you being here. Again, make sure you check out vwjawbreaker.com for all the social, the merch, links to other great channels, which I've been forgetting a few. I need to update it. Check it out. You never know who might be on there. So guys, till the next time, be kind and be good.